Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily get competitively ready Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet in about 5 minutes. Let's get into it. So, starting things off, in order to do this method, you need a lot of money. Luckily, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, there are multiple ways in order to get a lot of money. Now, there are the legitimate ways and the illegitimate ways. So, the illegitimate ways are, of course, by cloning items and basically just taking advantage of all the bugs that are currently in the Generation 9 games. They, however, will probably get patched out very, very soon. Or you could be watching this video at the point where they have already been patched. Um, so let's move over to the legitimate ways on how to get money. So the biggest ones are, of course, the five, six star raids. They give you some really good items you can sell, ability patches, um, mints, star pieces, comet shards, all that good stuff that the shopkeepers in these games absolutely love. So that's one way. Another way is to do the big tournament at the end of the game, in the post game. Uh, you can basically just fight four random trainers. And uh, if you've got your amulet coin on, they will just give you a lot of money every single, every single time you beat those. The other way is to come to this desert here. Um, and basically, you want to want to look for these sparkly items here. Because as you all know, you will probably see these all over Paldea. But the special thing about the desert is that star pieces spawn here. Moonstones, sunstones, stardust, soft sand... All of these really, really good items that sell for quite a bit of money spawn constantly in the desert. It's not like you have to reset the day or anything like that. They will just constantly respawn as you drive by in this desert. The best thing to do is to come here at night because, as you can see, they are much easier to spot. In the day, they are very, very camouflaged. And as you can see, there's like three on my screen right now and they just pop up all over the place. I also would say come here with some pickup Pokemon because they will pick up extra items. I'd say come with a team of six because if they're all high leveled, um, they'll pick up even better items. And it's just a little bit of extra money that you can get. Um, but all I'm going to do is just show you like the kind of things you get here. So Cacnea Needle, that doesn't really sell for much. But again, you're going to find things like that. Um, so let's pick up this one here. So that's another Cacnea Needle, a little bit unfortunate there. Uh, and then we just got a potion. So those three items, not too great. Not a great start. But as you can see, you can just boost around. And especially at night, you can easily see the, uh, the kind of shiny things. There's another one over here. Um, that's just another potion. Not really going too well at the moment. Another Cacnea Needle. Um, but don't worry, you do get a lot of really good items um, by doing this. I've just been very, very unlucky with all those that I just picked up. There is another one here. Let me pick that up. Another Sandal Claw. Not going too well. <laughs> I promise there are really good items you can get here. Potion. Still not really making this uh, look too good. Uh, and then we go over here. Potion. Another potion there. Um, Stardust there. That sells. Moonstone there. But as you can see, they just pick up all, like, they just pop up all over the place. Um, and what you want to do is just do this constantly. Again, the Pokemon with pickup also help out. Um, there's another potion there. Uh, soft sand there. That sells for a little bit. That's a Pokemon. That's not a, that's not a sparkly thing. Um, that is a sparkly thing. Another thing there. Potion. Soft sand. Again, I've been very unlucky with the potions that I've been picking up. But the main thing to take away from this is like you've seen how many sparkly things are like popping up. Soft sand there. Potion there. And then we go over, uh, go over here for another sparkly thing. Another potion. Not really getting too lucky here. But as as you know, like as you're doing this, you're obviously your Pokemon are picking up like items as well at the same time. So this is basically what you want to do. You kind of get the idea. I'm not gonna keep going around until I get like a ton of items, because I've already done that. If I go into my bag and I've been doing this for like not too long, you can see I've found 124 Stardust, 34 star pieces. You get the idea. There's a lot of money you can get um, from doing this. So once you've got all the money you need. Let's move on to how to easily get competitively ready Pokemon. So what you're going to want to do is go to Mezagoza. And you want to go to um, the east part of it because that's the closest part to um, the, the shop that you need to go to get loads of items. So once you're here, you kind of need to decide what Pokemon you're going to want to... Uh, boost up in like the EVs and the IVs and everything like that. I'm just going to do a zoom rule here because I need to use this for the Charizard raid thing that's going to be happening in a couple of days. And if I click on my zoom rule, um, as you can see, it's just level 20. I've not used this at all. I've just caught it. It's got huge power. It's got the Fairy Terra Star, which is of course what I need for Charizard. And so what I want on this zoom rule is max HP, max attack. I also want it to be Adamant Nature because that's just the best kind of um, situation I can have for my zoom rule when taking on this Charizard raid. So. You're going to want to go from the East Pokemon Center, just up here. It's not far away, and this is why I say go to the East one, because it's the closest to the Chansey Shop, and it is right here. So this is the location that you're going to want to go to get all of your items. So you go in here, I'd like to buy, and as you can see, all the consumables that you need in order to increase your EV values on your Pokemon are in this shop. They also have the Nature Changing Mints as well, which I also need because I want to make my Azumarill an Adamant Nature. So, let's just go over the quick rundown of how EVs work in Pokemon. So, you can have a maximum of 510 EVs spread across the six different 
uh, kind of stats uh, in a specific Pokemon. The most you can have in one stat is 252 EVs, and you can have that in two different stats, and then you just have like six EVs like spread across another one or whatever. But the main thing is the 252. So I want 252 EVs in my HP and my physical attack. So I'm going to have to buy 26 of these HP ups. Well, I've already got two in my bag, so I only have to buy 24. You can also buy 25 and then use the feathers as well, because the feathers give you like one EV. So if you have like two feathers in like HP or physical attack, you can also use those instead just to save you an extra 10 grand. Um, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to buy 24 because I need um, 26 to get the maximum HP. But as you can see, that cost me 240 grand. Very, very expensive. Hence why um, you need to make so much money. So I need to buy 26 of those and then also need 26 of those. I've already got three in my bag though, so I'm going to buy 23. Uh, and so that's my max HP and max physical attack sorted. Uh, I also need an adamant mint as well because I need to change my nature into adamant. I've already got four of those, so obviously I don't need to spend the 20 grand on. But again, this is where you get your mints and stuff. And then when I come off this screen, all I need to do is go into my bag and just feed my Azumarill these different um, EV value items. So let me go into bag and let me go across to, I believe they're in, um, they're in this section here. Uh, I've already got bottle caps as well, but I'll show you where to buy those. Um, so I go up to my wherever they are. I've got so many items. So I've got 26 HPs here. So I use this on a zoom rule. You don't have to do it individually as well. You can just put 26 straight on and then boom, a zoom rule gain more base points for its HP stat. Then I need to go onto my protein ones. And if I just use this item, what Pokemon we use it on a zoom rule, use all of these, um, give him all of those. And now he's going to have max HP and max physical attack. I've also just leveled it to 100 as well, just to make life a little bit easier. But then once you go onto your Pokemon into the summary, and then you go over to your stats, and then you click L to switch the graph view. As you can see, the HP and the attack are sparkling because that means that they are max in those stats. So that's perfect for my zoom rule. I've got 252 HP, 252 physical attack. I also need to change the nature of it though really quickly because I want to make it an adamant zoom rule. So I go down to my uh, my mints, go down to my adamant mint, wherever it may be. It's somewhere in this bag. I need to really sort it out. Um, it is uh, adamant mint. So I use this on a zoom rule as well to give me even more attack. Um, so boom, good stuff there. And now my zoom rule is nearly ready, but I still need to give it perfect IVs. So what you want to do is go to this shop down here, the Deli Bird Presence or whatever it's called. It's just down here, not too far away from that shop at all. You just keep going down, keep going down. And it is this shop here. And this is where they sell bottle caps. So you go in here. And uh, bottle caps, I think, are also like 20 grand as well. So I go to general goods. And then as you can see, bottle caps are there. They're 20 grand. I already have three. Uh, I need five, though, because my Azumarill stats aren't perfect in anything. Uh, and, of course, a bottle cap basically gives you 31 IVs in a specific stat. So I need to buy two more of those, which is another 40 grand, which, as I say, very expensive. If you've got like three mil, then obviously this is so, so easy to do for like a ton of Pokemon. So now I've got my bottle caps. I also could do with getting like a an item as well that I could also put on my Pokemon. Um, so you can go into battle items as well, and you can buy like a ton of different things. Uh, this is where you can get like your choice bands, your Eviolites, your choice scarf, stuff like that. So I could, if I wanted to, choice band my Azumarill to give it even more attack for like the Charizard raid and stuff. I could give it an expert belt, which would be useful. Um, this is just where you get extra battle items just to give you an even more of a boost uh, in certain attacks and stuff like that. I'm not going to buy any of those because I don't need to. But uh, if you do want to get an extra item, that's also something you can think about doing. Now, after you've done that, you've got your bottle caps, you've got your items, everything like that. You want to come over here to this town in the ice location called Montenevra or Montenevra, whatever it's called. And you fly here and then you go up to this man over here. And this is what you use your bottle caps on. So I'm going to speak to him here. He's talking about hyper trainings. And basically, your Pokemon has to be level 50 in order to use bottle caps and stuff, um, which is fine because you can get like extra large XP candies and stuff from raids, easily level your Pokemon up. And so I'm going to use a zoom roll here and I'm going to select him. And then I'm going to use my normal bottle caps, which I've got of five. And then I need to raise everything, really. So if they are, like, complete, it will have, like, a little complete symbol next to it. But I need to do HP attack, defense, special defense, and speed. I don't need special attack because I'm not using any special attacking moves. Um, and it's just a waste of a bottle cap. So then I click start the training. And then hope you're ready. Let's go to some hyper training. And then a zoom rule is now getting perfect IVs in every single um, every single spot. So now my zoom rule's got perfect stats in uh, everything apart from special attack. So the other thing is if I can go into my boxes, um, you can unlock like the IV feature once you beat the game. Just click plus. You can see it says amazing stats. Um, HP, hyper trained, hyper trained, hyper trained, hyper trained, hyper trained. Um, I have best HP, best attack, best defense, best speed, 
best special defense as well um we've already gone over my 252 evs and i and evs in each of like the the sections that i needed it in physical attack physical uh, and hp and then i also have the adamant nature as well and that is basically everything to get a perfect pokemon in scarlet and violet like i say it takes five minutes obviously it's a lot longer in this video because i was explaining it all but again all you need to do is get all your money and then quickly go buy all the like calciums or irons or whatever buy your mint uh, buy your bottle caps and then give them what you need them to get like have and then just come here do the bottle caps and that is literally it so that is how you get competitively ready pokemon in pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet if you enjoyed the video please do drop a like down below it's trying to 500 it really helps out leave a comment what is your favorite competitive pokemon to use subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell that's everything from me though have a fantastic rest of your day until next time peace